Wow. Wow. Did y'all hear the crowd erupt? Man. Prayers for Donald Trump, man. Prayers for his family, his team, his campaign. Man. The corrupt system, the corrupt matrix, the scam that we live in, man. Mm. They don't want this man here. They don't want him alive. Prayers for Donald Trump, you guys. People won't change, man. Sick and tired, man. Four more years. Yes, sir. Tampon Timmy out of there. Get stolen Valor Tim boo. I mean, get just boo him out. Boy. Man. Them Patriots ain't playing, man. I'm telling y'all, them Patriots, they're not playing. They sick and tired. And they don't want your tampon, buddy. They don't want, I don't want your tampon either. I'm a man. I'm a gentleman. I'm a fella. I'm a boy. <laughs> we don't want you. We have common sense. We don't want your tampon. We don't want your pronouns. We don't want your, 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 your beta. We, we don't want it, sir. You know? He out there talking about fixing a truck, playing with the, with the, uh, the air filter. Unbelievable. We know you don't know how to fix that truck. Stop lying now. You don't want to get your hands dirty going out there touching on that air filter. Unbelievable. Talking about you picked up a gun and shot it. You ain't shot the gun. Stop all that lying. You scared. I know some patriots that actually shot the gun. Tim Walls didn't like the energy he was getting and the validation he was uh, seeking. It looked like he flicked off. In this clip, y'all, a lot of people were saying he, and you can see it, he flicked off uh, one of the Trump supporters, I guess. Um, oh, yeah. Trump 2024, baby! Oh, yeah. Trump 2024, baby! Yeah, he sticks the middle finger up. Twenty twenty four, baby. Yeah, they, yeah, just go on and boo him out of there. Yeah. Here with President Trump and basically what I would call the, the Avengers of the Alabama political universe. Here, let's start. Jalen Milrow, you're a big football fan. How incredible has he been so far tonight? Well, it's been great. The team has been great, and I don't know. George is just off a little bit. Nothing is ever over, you know that. Yes. But uh, they're certainly playing great. He's he looks. 
fantastic, actually. Actually, I think they could well, use Herschel. Well, something. that was not nice <laughs> to mention that while I was standing here. And I'm still going to vote for you, President, because, even though you said all those good words. Well, you. you know, you're in Alabama. You've got Katie Barrett, whose husband played at Alabama. you got Senator Tuberville. you got Senator Danes all over the place here. When you came down the staircase 2015, you said your primary campaign was about people coming across the border right. and the fact that they were sending dangerous criminals. Right. Numbers came out, over 400,000 criminals, mm. 13,000 murderers, 15,000 rapists. You know who hasn't covered it? New York Times, CBS, yeah. Washington Post, all the people who criticized you. Were even you stunned by how big those numbers were? Well, I knew they were big, but nobody thought they could be. 435,000 criminals, 13,099 murderers, and nobody's ever had anything. And they're released into our country. Nobody knows who they are. They weren't checked. They weren't vetted. You would have done that, but they, they aren't vetted or checked or anything else. And it's so sad to see. And you know what? This is a disqualifier for her. I agree. It's just a disqualifier for Harris. You know, when you say Harris, nobody knows who she is. That's so. <laughs> but this is a total disqual disqualifier for Kamala, and she shouldn't even be allowed to run. It was her policy that allowed this to happen. This is an invasion of our, our country like nobody ever thought. And nobody could have believed. You know, numbers like that, those numbers have never been released. Murderers are. Somebody in there said, we got to release them because it's going to destroy our, our country. How they got released is, in a way, it's a miracle because they've never been released. Think of it, 13,099 murderers, yeah. murderers. And these are convicted killers. And they're now roaming around our fields, our streets, our cities, our towns. And it's gonna be uh, trouble for a long time. And it's all because of Kamala. She is the worst border czar. She, she said she's not a border czar, but she was in charge of the border, no matter how you want it. And then I see her the other night, it was a disgrace. I see her the other night, and she's up there saying what she's going to do. And you just say one thing to her, why didn't she do it? To me, that's the phrase, why didn't she do it? So it's disgraceful. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. There's no country in the world where that could have taken place. She's asking for a promotion now, and she's <laughs> failed at everything she's done. I'm sure you saw the ad she ran saying that she would fix the border. It maybe is the most dishonest ad any politician's ever run. Well, she's a very dishonest person. She said she worked at McDonald's. It turned out to be a lie. You know, that's a simple little thing, yep. but it's almost better than a big, complex web. She said she worked at McDonald's at the French fry. Oh, it was such, so tough. She never worked there. She lies, and what she's lied about really is the border. She had nothing to do with it. She, she actually hurt the Border Patrol. Every Border Patrol agent has supported me. And they said, I had the best border. We had the best border we've ever had. Yes. Four years ago, we had the best border we've ever had. Now we have the worst border, I think, in the history of the world. We've never, there's never been a border like this. Tuesday, J.D. Vance is gonna take on Tim Walls in the vice presidential debate. I don't know if you saw it, but Tim Walls said, Democrats have taken back football from Republicans. This stadium, I saw him put you on the jumbotron. I would dispute that pretty aggressively. How do you think JD's going to do? And what do you think about the argument from Tim Walls that Democrats are the ones who are football fans? Well, first of all, I don't know if you saw it, but he was at Michigan today. I did see that. He got booed out of the stadium. <laughs> yes. And if you saw the hand that we got, it was yes. a little bit different, wouldn't you say? <laughs> no, he's uh, this guy. That was a big mistake. I think it was a big mistake. Now, we'll see what happens on November 5th. I think it's going to be the most important day in the history of our country. That's going to be the biggest election we've ever had because our country's going bad. They have, you know, I used to say they are destroying. They've destroyed our country and we're going to bring it back. Today we had kids, uh, Alabama, uh, Georgia. We gave them a Kamala hat and a Trump hat like they do when they decide when they're right. recruits. Everybody we asked was putting on the Trump hat. I think you're going to kill it with young kids, college kids in a way that you haven't before. Do you feel that momentum? Well, we see it and uh, we, we see where we're way up with young people and generally Republicans, including me. And the last time I was OK, but I wasn't great. We're up by like 30 points with the young people. So that's an honor. Look, they see what happens. They're very smart. And look at the way she berated them. She said they're not smart. They're much smarter than her, I'll be honest. But I think we're going to do really well. There's an energy 
We did great in 2016. We frankly did better in 2020. The most votes ever gotten by a sitting president by far. Uh, there has never been energy like there is now. And I guess it's me, but you know what it is? It's also when they look at what's happened to our country. Our country is going bad. Our country is a very, a very dangerous place right now. When you look at what she's done at the border, it's a very dangerous place. But we love our country and we're going to turn it around and we're going to make America better, greater than ever before. Last question. You came here in 2019. You saw Joe Burrow right. to a, it was an incredible Great game. Team. For someone who has never been to a big college football game, Alabama, all over the SEC, what are they missing? What's incredible about well, it? Well, I've always heard the expression, big time college football. And I guess, you know, NFL is great, but we have 125,000 people today. You have Herschel standing right behind. You <laughs> yeah. talk about, you know, they did ballads to Herschel, the ballad of Herschel. Yes. Nobody like Herschel. But uh, big time college football is as big as the end. I mean, some people want to watch that as opposed to the NFL. And I don't know what they're doing with the kickoff return in the NFL. It's a mess. And I don't want to get involved in controversy, of course. But it man, that, that kickoff is ridiculous, man. I've been talking that with friends and, 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 and former teammates of mine, man. We just, uh, we go back and forth, man, of what they're doing to the NFL. Oh. And it's like it's not even football anymore, man. Come on now. You know, they got all the they got new rules every single year. You know. A gladiator sport, man. A rough sport. Let's play football. You know. Y'all know I played football my whole life, man. I just retired a couple years ago in college, man. You know. And I, I enjoy football, man. I, I thought I was going to the NFL, <laughs> you know, but man, I just, they have new rules every single year, man. It's crazy. It looks so bad. And I noticed they haven't done that in college and yeah. they shouldn't do it. And I think the NFL should go back. I mean, maybe it's a little more dangerous. I doubt it's any more dangerous. It is, you know, it's football. I think they made it terrible. Simple. It's football, man. It's football. Football mistake in doing that, but you look at this, they haven't, it was the first thing I was looking yeah. at. I said, have they done it? They haven't. It. it looks so strange. And you don't take something that's working and change it, but this is really big time football and it's great to see. I know I said last question, but Tom Brady's a friend of yours. He's calling games for Fox Sports now. How do you think he's done in, that, in the booth? I think he's done really well and I think he's going to do well and he's a winner and he's a champion. and. Uh, you know, has a lot of people that are jealous of him, so they're always going to say, no matter how well he does, they'll say as negative as they can. But I think he's doing fantastically well. Well, you're going to do fantastic a little over 35 days. We know you're going to win. I know Katie Britt. I know Senator Danes from Montana, Herschel Walker. Everybody's out there rooting for you, sir. Appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Brett. Thank you. Thank you. This is that other view, man. When they showed Trump. Wow, just that that crowd, man. This should give you guys chills, man. And again, this was a very, very uh, smart move, you know, uh, with the Trump campaign and Trump coming out to another another uh, football game. But uh, for it to be Georgia and Alabama, and um, we know that we need Georgia. Boy, this was a, a very, very smart move. And um, you could tell that everybody loves and miss Trump back in that office. Yeah. Beta Theta Pi at the University of Alabama. And it's not an easy decision, but I will be voting for Donald J. Trump. <laughs> yeah! Good hair. Good hair. You need a good head of hair. I'm Toe Creech. I'm a Sigma Pi at the University of Alabama. 
and today I'm going to be committing my entire life to fuck Kamala <laughs> Trump 2024. Yeah. Yeah, that Gen Z is something else, man. Huh? Yeah, and y'all know I'm a part of Gen Z, so. Yeah, y'all know I be telling y'all I don't be claiming my uh, my generation, man, because a lot of them are woke or they have no idea what's going on. They're brainwashed by the mainstream media, the fake news, the enemy of the people. They haven't done their research. They don't know what kind of corrupt scam of a matrix that we live in. But boy, oh, man, we've seen a lot from Gen Z um, during this football game. This is a different for her. difference tim walls versus trump man it's the difference tampon tim stolen valet tim tampon timmy <laughs> 